Remember? Well, remember this as well. We now have two walk-off punt returns this season. Tylen Wallace plays hero this time. And the Ravens en route may be answering some outstanding questions as well. Walk-off punt returns always welcome. But the question we speak of out in front of this Ravens team was, who are they in the fourth quarter? In your eyes, did they answer this? I mean, if you look at the box score, back and forth they went. Maybe didn't shut the door the way they should have, but offense, no doubt, responds. Absolutely. I did, I did some quick math. Coming into this game, they were minus 17 in the fourth quarter, point differential. In the first three quarters, they were like 150, so they had been putting it on early and not showing up late. I think it was 0-0 in terms of point score differential-wise in the fourth quarter. Then, of course, overtime, Tylen Wallace puts them over the top. And I, I think the takeaway here is, number one, the Rams are a really good football team. Mm. We know they have Aaron Donald. Killa Weatherspoon had an interception today as well. But offensively, they have been clicking with what we have from Matthew Stafford. When he's healthy, Kyron Wallace. Wallace, uh, Kyron Williams has been back, but this allowed this Ravens team to play up to the competition. And a lot of times the concerns with Baltimore is that they play down to the teams they're facing. And that has been a concern in terms of the consistency, especially when you start playing late January football. This is a statement win for me. Yes, it's at home, but this team controls their own destiny for the number one seed in the AFC, Joe. And this feels like a win that can catapult them into the direction of where they want to be. And that is playing home football games uh, throughout the duration on their way to hopefully getting back to the Super Bowl. The only difference, of course, is <laughs> Joe Flacco, who took it to the last Super Bowl, is now in <laughs> Cleveland. So he can't save them. It'll be Lamar's job. And Lamar, in my mind, is uh, top two, top three in the MVP race right now. It was fantastic watching him, I mean, not dismantle this defense, but find his spots and do what was asked. And so often, it's a team that doesn't respond in those moments. And here we see the moment of response coming in the third phase. Preparation is what begets something of that sort. And as you see it, Xavier Gibson was the hero there week one for the Jets. Tylen Wallace gets it done here for the Ravens. You mentioned L.A. And this loss, massive. I mean, especially when you see that game hanging in the balance, you have an opportunity in overtime. Too little, too late? Or do you still hold out hope, or whatever you may call it, that this is a team that can make enough noise to be right there week 18, needing something to happen plus a win? Not too little too late. They are six and seven, but they're only two spots out of that final playoff spot. And the two teams ahead of them that are currently on the inside looking out, Minnesota uh, pointing in the wrong direction. Green Bay appears to be going in the right direction. And then there's the Seattle Seahawks who are playing today without Geno Smith. So this is a little bit more than a bump in the roll. It's a pretty big pothole, but it is something you can overcome. And you can overcome it in part because of the, the conference you play in, mm -hmm. but also because you have Sean McVay, who is uh, hitting on all cylinders in terms of dialing up this offense over the last month or so. You have Cooper Cup looks to be returning to form. He had struggled in recent weeks. You have Puka Nakua, Tutu Atwell, all guys that are balling out. And I think if you have uh, those guys coming together with Kyron Williams now healthy in the backfield and Sean McVay down the plagues, you're going to have a chance in the NFC. The only concern is there is very little margin for error now, which means you have to win uh, if not win out, come close to winning out to, to make sure you have a chance to be uh, in the bottom of the sixth or seventh seed. Those bad birds, the Baltimore Ravens, the first team to 10 wins in the conference by way of scheduling. We'll see if anyone else joins them this week, but it is the going rate right now in the AFC.